Hey, this is Billy Gavel from Babylon Pop TV, and we're right here at Sneaky D's, the legendary Sneaky D's in downtown Toronto, to check out one of Canada's up and coming new emerging talents. Her name is Natasha Zimbaro. She's going to blow your mind. She was a contestant on the UK version of the X Factor in 2011. We're going to check her out right now at Sneaky D's. Come on in. So we're here at Sneaky D's uh, hanging out, Natasha Zambaro, yeah. 18 years old, yes. uh, fresh new talent on the uh, pop country, is, is that what you would call it? Um, pretty much just pop, almost pop rock now. I, I did a little transition period this summer actually, so I, I switched from my country genre to um, more mainstream pop rock. Well, I, I think that genre too has a, uh, has a great flexibility, um, like the Taylor Swift area where you have the conversion where you can go between pop and rock and country with that kind of new edge sound where totally. you don't have to define it so articulately to, to get it across. To exactly, and I think music now is definitely changing almost into like a big blend of, you know, tons of different sounds. True enough. And, um, you know, also, I, I wouldn't even classify myself as one specific specific genre because um, I like to just be myself and whatever sound I write that day, that's the kind of sound I am. So we are here at Sneaky D's yes. uh, hanging out uh, Toronto. Uh, how do you like Toronto? How's your experience so far? I love it, except for it's really cold here right now. Um, heels are not good in the snow. I have figured that out. Um, I, I have the same problem. <laughs> I'm sure you do, yeah. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's beautiful here. It's really nice. And uh, what are you in town for? Um, just business meetings right now. I can't say too much about what's happening. but um, Big things on the horizon, folks. Hopefully, yes. That's what I'm hoping. And I'm just working hard and just, um, you know, trying to be successful at what I do. So, yeah. And I guess uh, Toronto is the hub of, uh, of the big bad music universe. So this is a place to do all the meetings and uh, yeah. set up all the... Uh, uh, showcases and stuff like that for all of the, uh, the the big bad record boys, right? Yeah, it totally seems like that. So it's it's a cool vibe here. I really like it. Well, Vancouver's got a cool vibe too. Uh, I wonder why they don't um, do more stuff out there, being on the west coast and stuff. It seems all all the Vancouver artists have to come all the way to Toronto. Yeah, it's quite the track. To get any sort of establishment <laughs> going. When now we won't shut up. We just battling on and on. So, yeah, so uh, big things coming up in the future. Uh, any plans to do any recording? Uh? Yeah, I'm actually in the studio quite a bit, um, you know, once every couple weeks kind of thing. Um, I'm doing, you know, working hard on my album and just seeing where that takes me. How's, so. that, how's that going? How's that process? Really good. Um, you know, it's a long process. It's stressful, isn't it? It is, and I don't think a lot of people realize, but there's a lot of different steps. You know, there's the songwriting, and then there's the pre-production, and then the, you know, the production, and then now, there's all. Do you bunch. find yourself getting frustrated with everybody putting their two cents in and how to critique when it's your work, it's your baby? You know what I mean? And uh, yeah. The songs I, are yours, right. and I, I know you, you people appreciate the help and the influence and stuff from people, but it still doesn't make you a little prickly. I know when someone critiques my stuff. You know, whether it's art or music or whatever, yeah. it's still, you know, you just like want to get baby, your baby, isn't it? Right. And they yeah. have all these ideas on how they want to present your material. Yes, yes. Do you find that frustrating at all? Um, you know, I'm actually a very stubborn person. So uh, you get your way then? Well, you know, I try, um, but I definitely do take all the, you know, the comments and the, the guidance and everything. I, I really do take that in and I really use it towards my music because I think, you know, a lot of the people I'm working with have had more experience in the industry than I have. So, um, I respect that. Now we won't shut up, we're just babbling on and on. Babbling on, babbling on and on. Last couple of years you've been pretty busy. You just, uh, you were on uh, UK's 2011 X Factor. I course. was, yes. I was on the X Factor in the UK. Um, it was a great experience. I made it to the top 16 girls out of hundreds of thousands. So it was, you know, amazing. And that's where my mom's from. So I got to see all my family. Oh, and that's awesome. Yeah, it was really so cool. So was that planned? Did you go over there to visit family and just yeah. decide to go on to the X Factor? That's right. Or? Actually, I did. Um, the first audition 
process was in March, so um, we had a trip booked for then. So I, I just tried out, and you know, I got through. And well, yeah, I, I actually got through a few top sixteen rounds. To, yeah. to, to a show that uh, advertises for thousands is pretty impressive. Right. Yeah, you know. and yeah, it was a great experience. I got to meet Kelly Rowland from Destiny's Child and Gary Barlow from Take That, and I got to work with them. And we sang at Wembley six days in a row, so it was pretty pretty cool. And, and like you and I discussed a little bit earlier, that uh, it, it's a great reflection on kind of the little microcosms in the music industry and right. how everything is not necessarily prefabricated but is pre-planned and, and and how products are designed and put out and right you know some pe some people respond really well to that environment mm -hmm. you know and some yeah. people are very comfortable in it yeah people who are, are maybe more generic in their material and more um, more original in their material right. don't find the process as comforting as some of the other people do. Totally, and I think it's just like whatever your journey's meant to be, like that's what's going to happen for you. And um, for me, I am, like I said, stubborn, and I, I know what dis what road I want to take and what artist I want to be, um, you know, to a T. So I, I think but say, in front of that many people, though, must have been you know, yeah. exhilarating. Oh, it was. It was. It was crazy, and just being like in Wembley Stadium, that was just insane so it was so, great so many legendary people oh yeah you, know? you could see them all like on the walls yeah. like you know it's just it was just incredible to be in the atmosphere awesome. so yeah. yeah that's great yeah so uh coming up you're headed back to bc soon or? yeah i'm actually off uh saturday morning so i go back there um i'm pretty sure it's snowing over there too so i'm not too excited about that but um, yes but at least it won't last there <laughs> yeah true true yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, what what uh, what's the future uh, coming up with uh, shows, dates, things? Where can we see you? Social media, that kind of stuff. Right when I get back, I'm singing for the Vancouver Giants, which is like a WHL team. Um, I do a lot of anthem singing, um, you know, all over the place in Vancouver. So I'm going to be doing quite a few of those gigs when I get home, and then just back in the recording studio and working and you've hard. Done, you've done a lot of those. You seem to enjoy doing that. Yeah, right? yeah. You know what? I I do. Um, I just love singing. Yeah. Uh, period. In front of people. So finding anywhere to showcase. Exactly. It. Of anybody is totally that. yeah right now my focus is my recording um, obviously that's first and foremost but um, so yeah I'm just working hard on that right so now so listen up big labels <laughs> pull your socks up <laughs> somebody's got to catch this girl soon uh -huh. they're going to miss out uh -huh. <laughs> And yes, I'm Billy Gavel sitting here right here, Babylon Pop TV with Natasha Zimbaro, and we are at Sneaky D's. Uh, check her out on Facebook and on YouTube. Yeah, lots of great Twitter. fun stuff and Twitter. Twitter. <laughs> All right, and as well, check her out on BabylonPopTV.com.